A new audit from the city controller's office found that the Adams administration wasted millions of dollars in its response to the migrant crisis. Nearly 80% of payments, including charges for hotel rooms, that were never used. Hello, America, FBI and CIA agents and fellow cult members. Welcome to Culture Code of USA. I'm Debrava, and this is your wake up call. Wake up, America. So, a story came across my feed that I had to share with you. So, the mayor of New York City, Mayor Adams, has spent over 400 plus million dollars on amenities like hotel rooms and such for illegal immigrants who have come into New York City because New York is a sanctuary city. The problem is there was an audit and only 20% of those amenities were utilized. But the 400 plus million is gone. A new audit claims the Adams administration spent millions of dollars on services for asylum seekers that were never used in New York City. Comptroller Brad Lander released a report today claiming the city failed to properly monitor the $432 million contract with DocGo. As a result, he says, the city paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for hotel rooms, for example, that remained empty. Investigators working on the audit found only 20% of the invoices were valid. Mayor Adams defended the city's emergency response as prepared and called Lander, who recently declared his own mayoral candidacy, a detached spectator. So there you have it. There you have it. 400 plus million dollars spent on amenities in New York City. And only 20% of it is used. Now, here's the thing. New York City, and I'm a New Yorker, thrives on, well, a few things. Wall Street is one, but... It thrives on tourism. Now, what happens when you block out thousands of hotel rooms that are now unavailable for tourists? Well, what happens? What happens is the price of the hotel rooms that are still available jack up. In New York City, the New York Times reports that roughly 135 out of the 680 hotels scattered across the city's five boroughs entered the uh, immigration program that allows migrants to be housed in hotels. Now, that means fewer beds are available for tourists. Essentially, get a supply-demand crunch. The average hotel price for every traveler has jumped 8.5% in a year. Average hotel costs right now across the Big Apple, some $300. So let's think about this for a second. If the price of the hotels have skyrocketed and families can't afford those hotels, one of two things happen. You either don't come, you go somewhere else, or, or, you stay less time. Now, if people aren't coming, okay, what does that do to the businesses? What does that do to the businesses? Like, let's say the local pizza shop, the local deli, okay? Broadway shows, productions, street vendors, whatever. What happens? They close down. Because if you have less people coming to the city to visit as tourists because they can't afford it. That means that not only are those businesses dying because no one is coming, the people that are coming aren't spending as much money in those businesses, okay? So what happens? They can't afford the rent and they leave. Which is why if you actually come here to New York City, you will see that there are hundreds of empty storefronts that they can't rent because the businesses have left. It's too expensive, it's not worth it, there's no value in it because there's no traffic. Migrants from Texas arriving in New York City earlier this morning. And we're learning more about where many are staying at taxpayer expense. The city is renting some 5,000 rooms at a swanky hotel just one block from Times Square with spectacular views of the iconic skyline. Rooms cost up to $700 per night. So here's the funny thing. They say that the city failed to monitor the funds with DACA. <laughs> now, do you see how many layers there are to this? 
debacle. So now we're gonna sit here and blame who? Who's to blame? See, now we're gonna play the blame game and nobody is ever accountable. This is how it works. This is what needs to change. People have to be accountable, okay? It's Mayor Adams that needs to take the fall because you're in charge, Mayor. You're in charge of the funds. You're in charge of the 400 plus million dollars that were taken from us to spend on illegal immigrants, which is mind boggling within itself. You've destroyed the city. And you don't want to give us answers? Well, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you so much. I'm sure you've heard about the comptroller's report on DACO. It was a very hectic time. You were dealing with this huge emergency with the migrant crisis. The report talks about how the city paid for nearly 10,000 unused hotel rooms, and that's taxpayer money. Can you talk about like what was happening at the time where that was allowed to happen? <laughs> you go. You, you, we don't have enough t t enough time to talk about what that what was happening at the time. Trust me. I want answers. I want to know if kickbacks were given to these hotels. If this was a thank you for them helping to get you in office, Mayor. That's what I want to know. Does anybody else want to know that? I mean, it's it, it, it's pretty common knowledge that the hotel industry is one of Mayor Adams' biggest backers. It's a big, huge part of how he got into office. So explain to me how $432 million missing in action, only 20% of it is used on illegal immigration. Okay, 20% of $432 million. Where's the rest? Where's the rest? And who is going to take responsibility for destroying this city in the meantime? For the businesses that have left. Are you gonna give that money that's left over to the businesses that failed? Are you gonna give the money that is left over Okay, because we're talking about 80% of $432 million here. Are you going to give it to us? Probably not. Actually, no, you're not. Well, questions being raised tonight about a new pilot program that will give migrant families a reloadable prepaid credit card to buy food and baby supplies. All right, it would replace the food boxes given to asylum seekers staying in hotels. Fox 5's Jessica Formoso has more on how it would all work. Some migrant families will soon be given prepaid credit cards to buy food and baby supplies. The mayor's office says the city is partnering with Mobility Capital Finance to launch a more cost-effective program. We're just giving this migrant population more free stuff uh, at the expense of New York City taxpayers. Now, here we are in New York City, central New York, you know, take a look. You've got thousands of people running towards me, right? They have shut down Park Avenue so that these people could run. But you know what the problem is here? You know what the problem is here? The problem is these people don't care. Not only do they not care, they're not paying attention. They don't care and they're going to do nothing and be happy. They're gonna own nothing and be happy. These are not the elites. These people running towards me are not the 1%. They're the hardworking citizens that came either to New York for opportunity, for jobs, or for whatever. And they're not gonna do or say anything. They're not gonna do or say anything. And that's why the city is gonna remain using us, the citizens, as their slaves. They don't have to answer to us, that's why they don't, because we don't demand it. They don't have to answer to us because we don't demand it. I'll say it again, they don't have to answer to us because we don't demand it. If you want answers, you have to ask for answers. You have to demand it. I don't want to continue living like this. This city isn't even fun anymore. It used to be a creative space, it used to be amazing. But now, well, take a look around you. It's just a bunch of brainwashed people who actually don't care. Bonus, right side, bonus. 